So, our second test is movability. Of course, you've got to get in through the crowds. Now, we thought it'd just be easier to make an assault course with a little step in it and everything else like that. So, first up is the Phil and Ted Sport. Now, remember, this one takes two kids. So, we've loaded it up with uh, Adam, our two month old, and Emily, our 14 month old, and Will is going to see how quick he can get through the course. Are you ready, Will? Yeah. Go! So, what do you think of that? Uh, it's not got a great turning circle. Okay. And there's a few bits here that were pretty much impossible to do. Excellent. Next up, we're going to test out the bugaboo. Are you ready, Fran? Get set. Go. So, how do you find that? Very easy. Good, good movability. Yeah, it's nice that the front wheels obviously swivel to where you need to go. So, very easy. And how about the kerb? Uh, no problem at all. She seemed to, to cope all right, so... Excellent. Well, next up's the Mama and Papa's uh, Pico Premet. Chris, are you ready? Yep. Get set, go! So, how did you find that? It moves very well, um, you know, fairly tight in the corners, and, yeah, it rolls very smoothly. And about the kerb? It was all right. It was very easy going down the kerb, but coming back up the kerb, I managed to kick the wheel, so it didn't go up so smoothly, but it goes down very well. OK, and there you have it. Next time you're in an airport car park, or just any big car park in a supermarket or something, and you don't know where you've parked, or want to remember where you've parked, just take, use your mobile phone, take a picture of something recognisable, like a sign, and then a week later, when you come back off holiday, all you have to do is look at the picture again, and you know where you are, and it's as easy as that. This test is all about foldability and how easy it is to get the buggy into the back of the car. This time it's our 4x4. So Kelly's here with us with the bugaboo and we're going to see how, uh, how well it, and easy it is to get it in the back. What do we do? OK, you have to twist those bits to drop the handlebar down. And then you have to actually take this bit off so you've okay. got the thing to slide across and then you push the buttons in. Do you want me to hold that for you? Yes, please. I think it comes on quite easily. Then you've got a button to press and two things to slide up. To drop that down and then those bits click together and in the back like that and then that bit goes on top there and that's it and, and there we go next up's mum and papa's so will can you show us how to take this one apart sure uh you first push this canopy down you're actually supposed to take it off but we can never be bothered and there's a little catch under here you lift that and then you push it all up that up, up as far as it will go, so it will go in sort of push chair mode. And you've got these two catches here, one and two, and this handle here. So you pull that handle, and the whole thing just folds. And the manufacturers say it's a one fold, a one handed fold, but really you need two hands. Um, and you put it in uh, like that. And finally, we come to the Phil and Ted's, which is the three wheeler. All I have to do is press two buttons here, the back flops down, there's a handle here, I pick it up, and it's done. And it's probably one of the far, it's far easier one than uh, the Bugaboo and certainly the Mummers and Puppers. Well, overall, today we've seen, uh, we've seen three buggies and they've, they've all got their really good strengths and, and some of them have got the weaknesses. The Mamas and Papas, let's start with that one. The uh, concertina factor, that's really good because it makes it really small. And if you're uh, relying on public transport, it means that you can certainly take it onto the buses or trains. I wouldn't like to try and get one of these on, or certainly the Bugaboo on a, on a bus. Um, the Phil and Ted's is a fantastic de design as far as it goes when you've got two children. And if you're thinking, if you've got a child already and you're thinking of having a second one, then you know it might be worth that second, worth that investment to certainly give you the ideal of a double buggy but in a single buggy phase and when it comes on to the third one the bugaboo now the bugaboo is fantastic for the movability and its versatility taking it from the pram to the buggy and moving it around folding it up okay it comes in two pieces which might cause you problems putting it in the car but it might be handy for when you like if you've got to put that second piece elsewhere in the car so which one do we prefer well it depends what you want if you've just about to start a family, then I would probably, and you're expecting to have two children, then I would probably suggest the Phil and Ted's because for the £460 outlay, it will certainly give you the longevity for when the second one comes along. 
If you're struggling, or if you don't have a car, or you, most of your transport is via uh, public transport, then I'd probably suggest the Mamas and Papas Pico Promet because of the compactability and the, the easiness of folding it up so you can get an on and off of trains quite easily. Overall, however, the, if you do have a car and you are only going to have one child, then probably the Bugaboo's best. Now, it might be expensive at £600, but the movability, the versatility, and the overall adaptability of it throughout all the situations we've tested today have been really good. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the show. I, to be honest, I've had so much of babies that I'm just going to go down the pub. This is Megawatt TV. Thanks for watching.